Welcome back to Martin James Designs on the Dyna Block Sheet Build, episode 11. As you can see, I'm stoked because there's some sunshine. It's been freezing cold and, and raining and snowing for the last like two months. Uh, so it's starting to dry up a little bit. Still got another month or so before we can ride. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked. We're gonna get on these uh, handlebars, switching out the new bars. They came last night gonna get that taken care of and uh, get all the wiring done hand controls clutch brake and get the rest of the front end put together on this episode so my brother's just showing up right now he's gonna get here and we're gonna get going on it what's up whoa dude <laughs> dude those are sick sick what do you think yeah, man. dude those are so perfect i think they're gonna work good yeah man okay I've just tested the bars out. They look awesome. They're nice and flush with the uh, end of the forks and they're perfect height. So I'm going to start all the wiring. So I have all the controls. We painted these already. So they're all new and clear coated. Um, and if you can see, I cut the pins off thinking that I was gonna have to extend the wires. Um, I could have probably just deep pinned them, but I didn't even have the tool. So anyways, they're long enough as is. So I'm actually just going to put them through the bars because they wouldn't fit through the bars with the, um, harness on them anyway. So they did have to come off. Uh, so I'm going to feed the wires through the bars, get them all rewired and connected. And, uh, then we can start working on, uh, the rest of the controls and get them on the bike. So I'm going to solder these up, get that done. Okay, we had men's shop night last night and uh, Dennis and Jai threw the exhaust pipes on. Uh, so I didn't really film any of that, but we're actually taking them back off now because they were flat black and we've decided to powder coat them the same color as the engine now. So if you see, we've taken the shrouds off and uh, we've powder coated the bolts here, but we're gonna need to powder coat the actual shields. So we're gonna uh, take care of that. Okay, I'm at a bit of a standstill here. Uh, my old system, I had one of these uh, zip ties or zap straps, and I used to be able to just fish them down all the bars I've been doing, but these have the craziest angles on them. And basically what I'm needing to do, I put a plug here, and we're gonna need to use a vacuum and vacuum a string through the top and pull it through, but I don't have a string. So I'm gonna go track one down and we'll keep moving. Jai came up with a brilliant idea. Use your shoe, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> got both wires fed through soldered up and uh, we got the signals removed and the new wires pulled through because we're going to be mounting these um, Thunderbike custom small signals so uh, we're gonna have to wire those in place 
Um, next step is to get the, the bars on and mounted and then we'll uh, keep moving. Had to take a break, went and had dinner, sat around the fire, and uh, coming back Friday night. Gonna keep wrenching away, got Jai coming back right now, and uh, hoping to get this whole thing completed. We were gonna originally use these skull grips, but if you look here, it's too much, too much white. So I had these performance machine ones that were actually originally for the original design. We're going to go back to those. It's gonna look good. Okay, we're calling her a night. Got a lot done, I'll just kind of show you guys where we're at. So we've just mocked the mirror up, got the uh, controls all completely done. Uh, clutch is finished, brake. We powder coated the exhaust, the same color as the engine, the matte black. Turned out really good. And uh, next up is I gotta finish wiring these signals, the small little uh, um, Thunderbike custom signals, and then I gotta wire the back light for the tail light with the um, equalizer. Get that done, and then we should be able to put the battery box in and test all the controls before we mount the gas tank permanently. So that's kind of the next uh, stage. Back in the garage, me and Jai worked pretty late last night. I've just got everything set up. I'm going to wire this back load equalizer on the rear taillight section, get that done. Then I'm gonna mount the front uh, signals, get those wired, and then hopefully put this battery box in and get the lights working. So I'm gonna just do that. exactly where we're at. Um, if you come over here, we've powder coated the exhaust, the same color as the engine, so that got finished. I put the battery in, I got all the wiring with the load equalizer complete. So we got the headlight going, with our high beam, got the horn working, got our signal lights going, and then uh, if you look in the back here, we got our rear signals working, the Thunderbike custom signals. We got a brake light working. So all the wiring's ready, good to go. I'm just gonna put the battery covers on and uh, the next episode we're gonna get to all of the center console, the Dakota digital gauge. We got the seat coming from Thunderbike customs and uh, I bet we're gonna hear this bike run. That's the plan. Next episode, we're going to fire this bike. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh.